Hello Leo, welcome or welcome back to the Venusian Light Tarot. So today we're going to go ahead and do a love reading for you. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we're going to see what is going on here between you and a person that you have on your mind. So go ahead and think about your person, think about your situation in love. And we're going to see what we can pick up on here in this connection. So just take what resonates. If it doesn't resonate, no worries. Don't try to force the message. Keep in mind also that the roles can be reversed or interchangeable. And if you do resonate with this reading, there will also be an extended reading. You can check that out down below in the description box in the comment section. And we will go much more in depth over there about the person you're connecting to, their thoughts, feelings, intentions next actions and advice for you. So let's get into it. Also, if you are new here, we have this big bowl of first names, common first names around the world, subscribers who are watching my channel who have submitted their first name, um, locations around the world, occupation, zodiac signs, physical attributes. So we will pull one draw here towards the end of the reading and then another draw in the extended reading. And um, if you are new and you'd like to submit your first name, if you have a unique name, you can leave the comment down below and I'll add it to the bowl. Okay, so let's see, Leo, what is going on here between you and your person, Spirit? I trust that this reading will find whoever is meant to hear it and anyone watching this reading, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is currently going on in their connection situation? Let's see, what is the situation in love here, Leo, between you and your person that's on your mind right now if you're watching this reading? We have the Six of Pentacles. Knight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, The Lovers, Queen of Pentacles, The Empress, the Five of Wands, and the Death card. Okay. So I'm seeing that this connection between the two of you, I don't know why they're kind of showing me like a helicopter that is circling around and around. Three of wands here too, seven of wands. So this could even be a situation to where at the moment this connection is, it's kind of like a, I feel that this could be something where for some of you, maybe you're already together or you're dating or getting to know each other or talking. If not that, this could be somebody who is very much considering um, approaching you or coming towards you with some type of romantic gesture. Their feelings for you right now is the Empress as well. And I feel like this won't be for everybody, but for someone out there specific, there could have been a external situation that has sort of hit a bit of a plateau, I'm hearing. Um, this may have been something outside of your connection. Again, that won't be for everyone, but for some of you, it could be that. And let's see how this person's thinking and feeling about you, the Empress. 
it's like yeah this person is someone who's coming across as wanting to find a way to get into your energy or wanting to find a way into your life here the hanged man and the empress queen of wands coming through at the bottom with the page of swords yeah if this is somebody who you've had maybe a bit of a past with or a history i'm seeing this person could be like scrolling through their phone or their photos of you or if not you know their photos they just are thinking a lot about you and it feels like there has been some type of stagnation though here yeah four of swords maybe you've been on a break with this person it's like i'm seeing a big stop sign so with the hanged man too it feels like this person and you you know maybe you are again not together let's see the connection between the two of you mutually knight of cups right now There even may be some indecision I'm getting. Eight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, so Two of Wands, exactly. So take this how this will resonate with you, but there's some indecision or crossroads that you could be at with this person. Um, you do have the lovers on your side, and again, it could be vice versa. Um, it could be some factor here in this connection that is making it up in the air of whether or not to you know, get to know you or approach you or reconnect or whatever your story is. Um, with the Eight of Wands here, this could be a question right now about forward movement or communication. And <clears throat> again, I don't know why they keep showing me like a satellite now too, like wanting to somehow get a scope of the situation, Knight of Wands. I feel like it's probably this person you're connecting to. They could be wanting to even um, gather information about you or trying to sort of gauge where you're at okay if it's a new person it could be someone who doesn't know whether or not to kind of reach out to you or to approach you but if it's just somebody else that you've been with it feels like for some of you i am hearing that you deserved more or you needed more from the connection so if this was maybe a bit of a with the lovers coming up for you maybe you've been looking for someone who can step up to the plate someone who can give you more and maybe there's been a question of that between the two of you right now um I am getting something about how this connection could be ancient, I'm hearing, or it could have like a past life connection, or this is something that you've been learning with this person. There's been that component to it. Let's see, we have one-sided love. What is the connection between the two of you, Leo? Yeah, but I keep getting at the same time, there's been a lot of push and pull with this person. So this definitely feels like even though the Knight of Cups talks about romantic feelings and um, wanting to explore things romantically, I am getting that this may be a bit of a push and pull, runner chaser dynamic that you have going on with somebody. We have delays and blocks, one-sided love, and we have also take it slow at the bottom. So it may not be that it's like a one-sided love entirely, but <clears throat> I am kind of getting that with this crossroads energy it feels like for for some of you there could be a lot of passion between you both there could be even like a casual type of connection here yes yeah, so we have electric love so there's definitely some type of strong intensity or passion that you and this person could share um, but let me see a little bit more about them then so how they're showing up here leo this person you're connecting to nine of pentacles yeah, I definitely feel like this could be somebody who is coming across as single. This might be somebody, depends on your situation, could be someone who is newly single and this could be like a new person and there's a fear about being you know, with you or furthering the connection, but they're coming up heavy in regret and circling back to you. So round and round, returning for more. So Leo, how is this person showing up, the person you're connecting to? I don't know why they keep showing me a reference of stopping on the road for gas. I feel like they're trying to say something with this. Let me see. Six of wands, two of wands. Yeah, I have to say this person, we're going to look much more in the extended, um, but this person they're coming across as someone who, it's interesting, I don't know how else to word it, but kind of like... Maybe they're in a spot where they can't give you everything of them. Two of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Seven of Swords. They could be someone who is sort of 
it's a strange reference, but kind of like they have to keep stopping for gas along the road because they always need something kind of. So with the Six of Wands, maybe they even need some attention from other things. They could even be someone who needs like an ego boost from other things outside of them. So it feels like This person is uh, very back and forth with the Two of Pentacles. They're coming across as somebody who's very back and forth. How are they feeling directly about you, Leo, with the Hanged Man, the Empress? Because it feels like they, yeah, this person wants to level up for you as a thing. I'm getting this person as they view you as the Empress. They view, view you as someone that they want to level up with here or level up to. Someone here could live in Asia. We have Apprehensive. How are they feeling directly about you? For some of you, if this is a specific situation to where you're getting to know this person right now, like you're dating, you're kind of talking, they are understanding and kind of recognizing the potential that you both have with each other. It feels like they are wanting to have these like building blocks with you almost to sort of see where things progress. But at the same time, I'm getting this person they have a lot going on in terms of like other things that they're dealing with it could even be financial with the six of pentacles here five of wands it definitely feels there's a bit of an avoidance though i will say um even though they see you in such a beautiful light here so it's interesting but i feel like they are again i keep seeing something about maybe like meeting up for coffee or meeting up for small events that could just be for some of you but confusion and secret admirer how they feel about you yeah it's a, such a strange energy it's like i think this person they almost are trying to they how to word that they kind of like want to be better for you or they want to level up to your level or they see they see you as someone who embodies these qualities of the empress but they also feel like they need to work on themselves right now rejection so irrational fear dismissal but it's like in the background they know they have to make a sacrifice i'm hearing so this is where with the two of wands we had two in the one-sided love it's not to say that this is like a one-sided connection in terms of what they feel for you but they are acknowledging that they have to make some type of sacrifice to be with you or to have this connection work yeah the devil they could have something that uh, kind of that reference of the gas like they need maybe other things around them to fuel them so as it as it stands right now what's going through their mind about you they definitely could be considering wanting to call you message you right now with the knight of cups but it, it's again it's sort of coming through in a way that would maybe even be like a little bit fleeting or short-lived um it seems like i'm seeing something about this person could ramble i don't know if they're going to like message you or call you and i'm seeing someone like ramble ramble on and on about themselves. I don't know if it's themselves or they're just going to talk a lot. Something about how there's a lot of noise in the background of their head or their mind. They could even be somebody who does have a lot of distractions or they could have a lot going on in their life. So it's kind of like this busy energy I'm getting. I feel like you and this person though, that you have maybe some type of intensity between the two of you. Um, so we're going to look more in the extended, but let me just see, what does this person want with you, Leo? Anything else, Spirit, about what they are truly thinking and wanting with you? I'm getting this person sees you as the yin to their yang, or maybe vice versa. So there actually could be like, and actually we did have the emperor, is it still here? Yeah. So this could be for some, just somebody who compliments you really well. Some could even be a twin flame connection, maybe for some of you. Um accepting one's journey surrendering to the mystery but yeah they see you as like this in this energy of the empress especially if you're a feminine and they know that time is ticking away they know that they have to level up or act quickly if this is again i'm going back to a specific group of people if this is a new person you just met they could be healing from something else or they're trying to kind of like mend their wounds from something else and they almost like know that you are someone who they see this potential love with they see this like almost like now we're nothing or now we're never type of energy like you could be a notch up in a way from what they're used to or from something else 
and they don't want to miss out their chance on this connection. And I'm seeing that you have left the door open for this person. It's like a crack in the door. So either they feel that or you've told them that or that's just the energy that you're in right now to where you've both kind of left a bit of a crack of the door open to explore this. And it seems like that's why this card came up here too, surrendering to the mystery. It may not even be like, a, let's look at the outcome here. The death card, what is the outcome between you both in the next month or two, Leo? Nine of Wands. I'm getting somebody going through a pretty profound spiritual shift. Could even be you or both of you. The Justice card and the Nine of Wands. What's the outcome between you and this person, Leo, next month or two? It feels like it's a matter of priority. Um, yeah, so time keeps slipping. Tell me a little bit more, Spirit. The outcome between you and this person, Leo, next month or two. I think what the outcome is, is especially for the, yes, for those of you who are already dealing with them, but even if you're not, there's a message from spirit. It's mainly advice coming up. See, look, we have the same kind of energies here, falling too deeply and losing myself in you. It could even be for those of you who do have like an intense connection, uh, maybe even twin flame connection with the lovers. There could be this feeling of needing to tread slowly and carefully in this connection and going about it in a way that is balanced because it seems like there's gonna be a little bit of heightened emotion here between you both in the next a month or two. And it seems like there even could be like a bit of ultimatum. Not that I think you are saying that unless that's what you're saying, but it's more of like an ultimatum from spirit if that makes any sense with the justice. Yeah, so elusive and drifting. I feel like this connection to be honest, it kind of feels like if nothing is done here to sort of level up or for this to become something more or to um, just, you know, be deeper into the connection, it could drift apart or there could be a decision that has to be made about whether or not this will be taken to the next level. It, it sort of feels... There's things to work on in this connection, I am getting for sure. There could even be with the devil here, either an addiction between the two of you, like a codependent connection. Because um, we have two people here who are equally kind of falling into each other. So if that is for one group of you, this could be like a codependent relationship to where you both have that type of connection. I def definitely feel like this is a highly spiritual connection though. It could be one that is, I don't know if it's twin flame or karmic or what, but it feels like this is something to do with the lesson from a higher perspective that is meant to be learned in this connection here. Yes, patience. There are things that have yet to unfold. Trust the weight and have patience. Everything is unfolding exactly as it's meant to. And that's what I had heard, something about how the, the forward movement of this connection, at least in the next month or two, it doesn't seem to be clearly defined and we'll look more in the extended, but it seems like it's, I'm hearing spirits say doing the dirty work with the justice. So one or both of you, probably more so this person is gonna have to go through a period of like doing the dirty work in terms of needing to purge the unnecessary energies or needing to kind of take a look at what it is that is blocking the connection. And this is something that cannot be changed overnight. And this is this is why Spirit's saying that this connection is probably going to take a little bit more time. And if that's something that you can't, you know, wait for, it seems like you are coming up as the lovers here. It seems like you've been very impacted by this connection especially if it's a newer connection, but even if not, yeah, so temperance and the fool. Wow, so you have 
for actually the world too. Major cards coming up for you. I'm gonna get some messages from them in just a second, but let me see, what is the advice for the viewer? bound what is the advice for the viewer of this reading lovers temperance the fool I think they want you to move into your own direction right now which doesn't mean that you have to leave this behind but it's more of like okay chemistry reunion let me see different past, past life. I wonder if there's maybe two connections here. I don't know if it's two connections for you. I'm hearing that song by, uh, I think it's Ed Sheeran, or maybe it's Shawn Mendes, Noth Nothing Holding Me Back. Let me see what this person wants to say to you. Let's look at that first, and then we'll pull some names, because I don't know, I feel like the advice for you is Let's see, what does this person want to say to you, Leo? What would this person want to say to you about their thoughts, their feelings? Yeah, it's like they're showing for you that it's almost like laying an egg or something or hatching an egg. The time has to be right for something with temperance and the fool. And it seems like you do have this connection here coming in. I don't know if it's a new connection or if this is just saying that the connection between the two of you is going to have to <clears throat> be at the right time. What does this person want to say to you, Leo, if they could say anything to you? I know you're spiritual, but I'm not. I don't feel open to the same things as you. So that's why. And then we have deep at the bottom. When I'm with you, it feels so real. I'm afraid of falling too deep. Yeah, it feels like this definitely could be a connection where even though you may have this yin and yang energy, this person could be someone who is a bit closed off even to spiritual topics or spiritual things. And you could be somebody who's on a different path than them. And I'm getting the universe again is kind of getting this person into motion or they are trying to get this person to maybe um, move forward with you or they're trying to get them, like I said, doing the dirty work, the justice. This could have been like a right person, wrong time situation. Um, it feels like this person can become overwhelmed when they're with you, overwhelmed at the presence of you and, and your connection. It's almost like I'm getting this energy where someone could be in their own world doing their own thing and then something may happen. I'm not saying it's going to be that way, but it's just an example. It's like maybe something bad happens if you continue to live a certain life. It's a bit of a wake up call type of thing. I think that's what the universe could be trying to get this connection or this person to be in or to see. We have secluded, I just want to get you alone. This person does have a bit of wanting to gravitate towards your light. So you may be somebody again with the Empress who they almost kind of look up to or they see as being very spiritual. Uh, I'm getting a hawk here is coming through my mind really strongly. So that could be a sign for somebody, but um, they they could be somebody who has, when, when it comes to their own mind, they may want to be alone with you or to, again, this person is very back and forth, okay? I have a soft spot for you. No matter what happens, I'll always care. It's like I'm seeing them kind of like with a lot of fog around them. Um, it's hard to put into words, but it's sort of a feeling, yeah, they're nostalgic about you. 
I look at your photos often and I can't believe how much time has passed. I think I said before too, they seem to like scroll through their phone or look at your social media or look at your photos. They seem like they really have fond memories with you if you've had a past with them. But it's almost like the intensity of the connection or the depth of the connection makes them It's, I, again, I think that they have to make a sacrifice here to move towards your connection. And they might be living a life that is very opposite of that. I'm trying to do the right thing for all involved. I feel obligated to make everyone happy. I've been focusing my life around myself lately, and I'm not sure if I want to spend my time with somebody else right now. So we're going to look much more at this person, look at their thoughts, feelings, actions, intentions um, in the extended. But let me go ahead and pull from our bowl here. So you may want to turn the volume down. I'm just going to mix this up. that song by Drake just hold on we're going home so in terms of names we have Alicia and you may want to look at these like as I'm putting them up because some of them I don't know how to pronounce um, and the spelling could be important for you we have Nicolina we have Tavette Samuel, Robin, Sherry with an IE, Summer, Noel. Marika, Anna, Mackenzie, Sharon, Zach with the CH, Carl with the K. Noor, if that's how you pronounce it, Noor. Andrea. Michaela. And Wico or Wicho, I don't know how to say that. And then in terms of attributes, we have Pisces, Sun, Cancer, Rising. We have Location of Holland and Utah. And then we also have Marketing. Somebody could be in the field of Marketing. And then we also have Dating. So take that how that will resonate with you. This could be that you're dating them or there's dating involved. But I forgot to say before I pulled these, don't worry if they don't resonate with you. If the reading does resonate with you and then none of the names, that's totally okay. It doesn't mean that it's not for you. It's just for certain people who need extra confirmation. So don't worry if that's not your story or if that's not your names and stuff. But we're going to pull another round in the extended. And I'm going to go ahead and look a lot more at this person. So the link for that is down below if you are interested. Um, definitely let me know if this resonated or these names. I'd love to know. And take care, lots of love, and I will talk to you next time.